Removing Exchange 2003 Server from an Organization Now even though the primary goal of this video series is to show you how to install and configure Exchange in your environment, there will come a time when you have to remove Exchange 2003 from a server. Now the best method of removing Exchange 2003 from a server is to use the same installation wizard we used when we installed Exchange, but before we can remove Exchange, there's a few prerequisites that must be met. Firstly, if there are any existing mailboxes on the server, you must remove them first or migrate them to a different Exchange server. Now to move a user's mailbox, we can simply open up Active Directory Users and Computers, we'll right click on the user and we'll select Exchange Task which brings up the Exchange Task Wizard. So we'll choose Next and then we need to choose the option which is to move a mailbox and then we'll choose Next. Now we can see that this user's mailbox is on our Server 02 so what we want to do is move it. Now our only other option is to move it to Server 01 because we only have two servers and obviously uh, only one mailbox store on this server as well. So we'll choose the default here and we'll choose Next. Now we get the option of creating a failure report if for some reason the mailbox cannot be moved. For example, if it has a corrupted message or something. Now we can also choose to skip the corrupted items and just create a failure report. We'll leave the default and we'll choose Next. And now we can schedule this task. Well, if we leave the default, that'll happen immediately. So we'll do that and we'll choose Next. And now what happens is the task connects to the information store in our destination, opens up the mailbox, and then it attempts to obviously transfer it across to our server 01. OK, and we can see that it was successful. So we'll now click on Finish, and XP User 2's mailbox is now on server 01. Now the next condition that must be met before we can remove Exchange is the server must not be a bridgehead server or a routing group master server. If this server does hold one of these roles, then you have to transfer it to another server before continuing. And finally, the server must not have any connection agreements or have connectors that are currently in use. Now if these prerequisites are met, then we can start the Exchange removal process. Now when we drop our Exchange CD-ROM in the drive, we get the familiar splash screen as we did when we installed Exchange. So we'll come over here again and we'll choose Exchange Deployment Tools. And as we did when we installed our second server, we'll come down here and choose to install Exchange 2003 on additional servers. And this of course brings up a familiar screen that we've seen before. We'll come straight down here to number 7 which is to run the setup now. OK, and this starts up our Exchange installation wizard, so we'll click Next. Now the wizard's already identified that Microsoft Exchange version 6.5, which is Exchange 2003, has been installed. So what we'll do is we'll come across here, we'll select the drop down box and then we'll select to remove Exchange. Now selecting to remove the parent option of Microsoft Exchange will also remove any sub options that we've installed. So with that in mind, we'll choose Next. We'll just get a basic summary about what we're going to do, which is remove basically everything. So we'll choose Next and the removal process will begin. Now this will take a while, so I'll pause this video and we'll return once Exchange has been removed. Okay, and we're finished. Exchange has been successfully removed from our server. Now I will point out that things don't always go as planned and there might become a time when you have to forcibly remove Exchange from an organization. And if this situation occurs, you'll need to perform some additional steps to get rid of Exchange from your server. The first step in forcibly removing Exchange is to fire up the registry editor. So click on Start Run and type in regedit, then hit OK, and then navigate to HKey Local Machine, slash Software, slash Microsoft, and then delete these two keys, the ESE98 and the Exchange key. And then navigate to HKey Local Machine, slash System, slash Current Control Set, slash Services, and delete the following keys. Now this one here, the MS Exchange with an asterisk after it, that just simply means delete all the sub keys that start with MS Exchange and then have something after it. And that would be things like the MS Exchange MU and the MS Exchange MTA and so on. Now the next step in forcibly removing all traces of Exchange from our server would be if we no longer need the ASP.NET, the NNTP, the SMTP or the web service that we configured as prerequisites when we installed Exchange. You can uninstall them now by clicking on Start, Control Panel, Add or Remove Programs, and then come over to Add Remove Windows Components. And then we'll double click on Application Server, and then we can simply uncheck the boxes and the NNT and SMTP as well. 
Now if you are planning on removing these, don't forget to remove the metabase.bin file that lives inside your System32 directory and that holds metabase information for your IIS configuration. Now at this point we should restart our Exchange server and once we've rebooted, navigate to where you installed Exchange and the default of course is program file slash Exchange server and either rename the folder if you're planning on installing Exchange again later on and there's items that you might want to keep or just delete the folder entirely to completely get rid of Exchange. Now the final thing we need to do to forcibly remove Exchange from our organization is to open up the Exchange System Manager on one of our other Exchange servers and navigate over here to where we installed our server. Now we had installed our server under our administrative group of New York and then we had Server02 listed in here. But as ours completed successfully we can't see Server02 so for the sake of the argument we'll say that Server01 was our failed deinstallation and we'll right click, we'll select all tasks and then we'll simply select to remove the server. And then we'll have to confirm our decision and then we're done. And now Exchange has been successfully removed from our server and our Exchange organization.